autumn's here, which means it's bulb planting time. And there's a few urban myths about bulbs and how to care for them that I'm going to clear up once and for all. So what is a bulb? Well, the best example is a good old onion. When you look at the cross section, you can see the little shoot there. That's called the bud, and that contains the immature flowers and leaves that you'll see above ground down the track. Now, these are attached to a basal plate down at the bottom. This is where the roots come from, which help to anchor the bulb in the ground. And around all those layers contain nutrients, which are going to feed the bulb until it can start to photosynthesise for itself. And then on the outside, the papery tunic, they're basically dried layers that protect the bulb from the environment, insects and animals. Just like plants and flowers that grow on the surface, bulbs have everything they need built in. Leaves, stem, roots, buds and flowers in one compact, bite-sized package. Now, bulbs can grow from seed, but they take many years to get to flowering size. So for best results, plant mature bulbs. Bulbs look beautiful when mass planted, so for best effect, plant lots rather than just a few. Bulbs either grow in full sun or part shade, so read the label to find out their requirements. And you can plant them in pots, but if you're planting them in the garden, be sure to plant tall ones towards the back of a bed and short ones towards the front. Bulbs need good, well-drained, porous soil. Use your spread hand as a gauge. If it's soft and crumbly, both your hand's depth and width, you'll be right. Soggy soil is a real no-no for bulbs. Always read the instructions about planting on the packet because it will give you information about the depth you need to plant your bulbs. As a general rule, we plant bulbs twice as deep as they are wide. If you plant them too shallow, they won't be happy. And if they're too deep, they'll be exhausted by the time they get to the top. It's important to plant your bulbs root side down, and this will shoot up at the top. Now we space them about twice the width of the bulb. Water in well and keep it up for the first couple of weeks to stimulate the roots to start to grow. Generally, I wait till the season breaks in autumn before I plant, and then the rain waters them for me. While it's true that dormant bulbs certainly don't drink much and they will rot if they get too wet, it doesn't matter if they get watered occasionally. So your precious new bulbs have flowered. What happens next? Well, these clever little creatures start thinking ahead to next year. They start storing sugars and producing baby bulblets. You can help this process by giving them soluble fertiliser as they're dying down. It's really important not to pull off any yellowing foliage until it's completely withered and dry. That's because the bulb is literally drinking the energy in the foliage, which will help you with flowering next year. Here's a quick hack for growing special bulbs that you don't want to lose. Simply bury them inside an old colander, sieve, or even wire hanging basket so that you can find them easily. If you've got hardy bulbs like jonquils, snowflakes or bluebells, they can stay on the ground year after year. But if you're in a warmer climate like South Australia and you're trying to grow bulbs that need winter chilling, such as tulips, depending on where you live, you may need to dig up your bulbs and put them in the crisper while they're dormant. Bulbs are a real hidden surprise. They're easy to grow and the results are well worth the wait.